Hi guys, this is my DJI Phantom 4 drone and it's nearly two years old. In that time I've flown it 350 times and I've recharged the battery 600 times. I've even gone through three SD cards. Now I mainly use the drone for personal use and occasionally I'll use it for YouTube videos for you guys just to watch and see what I'm up to. Quite recently I've noticed there's some stress cracks forming on the bottom housing of the shell. So I want to really, in the name of safety, get that replaced. I don't want an accident, I want to fly as safely as possible. Quite recently I filmed over at Stuart B. I managed to get some really fantastic historic footage for the local people of the town and I really want to be able to continue doing things like that. Plenty of cracks on there and um, without doing this really I can't continue to use it so it's going to be a bit of a project. It's all new to me but I'm looking forward to giving it a go to see what we can do with it. Let's get cracking then. So the parts I've actually bought are here on the table. I won't be able to replace the top shell because of the way the motor is soldered into the boards. But um, everything I need is here included on the table, so props and screws and the tools. All right, so there's uh, eight screws on the bottom immediately to be removed, four on the outside of the arms, and there's four towards the inside more where the gimbal sits. So I'm just working my way around them now, and then I'll obviously work on the inside as well. So you can see I'm just doing that, and then I worked on the gimbal support screws as well. Uh, the next stage is to remove the little plastic indicators on the arms and then finally there's some little caps on the bottom that uh, just basically hide the LED and the screws that hold the motors in. So in this shot now we're just removing the covers and those three screws per arm. So there's 12 screws that hold the motors in place. Once those screws are undone obviously it's easier to separate the two pieces of plastic, the top and the bottom casings. After that I looked at the gimbal. Now the gimbal's not as easy as you think to get apart. There's two ribbon cables that are attached to a board inside. So you have to be quite careful, quite delicate. But if you use the right size screwdriver, you can take the little support brace off and then unplug the cables. There you can see on the screen, that's the gimbal surround and support, all there in one package. Nice and easy. So one of the hardest parts I found was getting the two pieces of plastic housing apart. So as you can see here, I'm trying to work it out. I've got a flat-headed screwdriver in there and I've found that if you put it in there nice and gently, you can ply the two pieces apart. The next hardest part I found was actually removing the antenna from the compasses that sit in the landing feet. So you'll see me here trying to work it out, but I found the best way was to put the screwdriver down it and push it out. The next exciting challenge is removing the eight screws from the landing gear and bottom cover. Once you've removed them, obviously you can see on the screen there, you can remove the bottom cover from the top entirely and remove the wireless cables that plug into the compasses in the landing gear. The next exciting challenge is really putting it back together. So you can see there, I've got the landing feet and I'm putting them back onto a new bottom cover. Again, that's another challenge because it's quite hard to get to. I'll just show you here close up so you see what I'm talking about. There's one that's kind of tucked behind the scenes and there's also one quite easy to get to and easy accessible. So really now it's a case of putting the drone back together and seating the plastic lugs between the top and the bottom cover in there correctly. You'll see when they're correctly seated because the two pieces of plastic completely sink and mesh as you can see on the screen just there. Later on we can put the gimbal back on as you can see at the moment. There's two cables, you just reattach them, plonk it back on, you can put the screws back in if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and put the light covers back on now and just to sort of tidy it up a little bit. After this, really, it's a case of putting all of the screws back into the craft. There are several for the gimbal and there are several for the actual top and bottom covers as well. Now, if you've done this correctly, the drone should sit back together absolutely perfectly, just as it did when you took it apart. And if it doesn't, well, just take the screws out and have a little look and readjust it. I'm actually going ahead and putting the new propeller mounts onto the motors. Now, I just did this out of good practice, just because, obviously, I've never changed the prop mounts or the propellers. Two of these propellers spin clockwise and two spin anti-clockwise. Let's boot the drone up for the first time and see if it works okay. I've done a good job of this, I think. Well, it's switched on. That's got to be a good thing. The lights are coming on and the fan has just kicked in as well. So I went out to test it the next day and this is the result. It worked absolutely spot on. Everything was working great. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jake Billing. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time. See you later on.